problem 716. Uh, we have tendons are strong elastic fibers that attach muscles to bones. To reasonable approximation, they obey Hooke's law. In laboratory tests on a particular tennis found that when a 250 gram object was hung from it, tendon stretched 1.23 centimeters. And we're asked to first find the force constant of this tendon in newton meters. So to do that, I'm going to take the straightforward approach and I'm going to notice that we have a uh, mass that is uh, in has a balance of forces such that we have the uh, sum of forces equal to zero. And what this means is that since we have both the spring force, if I can draw a up vector correctly, we have the spring force uh, that is going to be uh, equal and opposite to the force due to gravity. So that means what we can do is we can define a direction to be positive, and we can say that the spring force uh, plus or actually I should say minus because it's in a negative direction, mg is equal to zero. We can substitute what the spring force is. That is kx. So we need to find uh, what x is. And x, again, is the, um, the stretched portion of the spring. So what we can do then is we can substitute in the values we know. And at the same time, I'm going to move uh, mass times gravity over to the other side. So we have K, the amount that this spring has been stretched is 1.23 centimeters. I'll go ahead and write that in meters because we want the final answer to be in Newtons per meter uh, equal to, and then I'll write uh, 0 0.25 kilograms because we want it again to be in Newtons uh, times 9.81 meters per second work. Okay, and so that should just uh, give us, if I could write the units there, that should just give us our answer once we do that math. And in the end, what we should get is 199.4 newtons per meter. So that's part A. Okay, so because of its thickness, the maximum tension this tendon can support without rupturing is 138 newtons. So I'm going to write that over to the side. So we have F max is equal to 138 newtons. And we're asked how much the tendon can stretch without rupturing and how much energy is stored in it at that point. So we have the force of a spring before ruptures. So let's go ahead and continue this statement. Uh, is equal to k uh, times x. And because this is the maximum force, I'm going to write the maximum dis uh, distance stretched for the spring. So that's going to be x max. Okay, so we know what k is. We're going to solve what x max is. So x max is going to be equal to 138 uh, newtons over this value here, 199.4 newtons per meter. And that's going to give us a result that is in meters once we move the uh, meters unit that is in denominator to the numerator because it's 1 over 1 over a meter. And that gets us 0 0.69 meters it is x max. OK. So that's how far it can stretch without rupturing. Now we're asked how much energy is stored in it at this point. So that's just going to be our simple uh, elastic potential energy function. So we have u elastic is equal to 1 half k x squared. And what we can do is we can also note that this is going to be the maximum and this is going to be the maximum x as well, just to be clear. And then what we can do is we can put plug in what we know. So we know what k is. We know what x is. And so we write that down. So we have 1 half times 199.4 newtons per meter 
times 0 0.69 meters squared. And after that math, we should just get 47.5 joules. And that's how much energy is stored in this spring once it's been reaches its limit before it ruptures.